Hi everyone, welcome back to the Fuwami channel. I'm your host Sam from Anaheim, California, and today I have my uncle here. We are gonna be exploring the Disneyland Resort because it is spooky season. We are gonna be trying all of the different foods and checking out the entertainment. Let's go, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Toontown trying the Toontown Harvest Pumpkin Iced Tea from Cafe Daisy. Oh, it looks so yummy. Very sugary on top, like a churro. Let's give it a taste. Very pumpkin-y. There's a lot of like pumpkin spice in there. You definitely get the iced tea and it gets sweetened with all of the sugar on top. I don't know. I like it. I think it's a very tamed drink to have. I don't know. It kind of has a feeling of like a black iced tea with the hint of the pumpkin spice. And then you get like the sweet sugary top. Like especially if you mix it in, mix it in, it's like a caramelized tea. So not too bad. So I think there's like little caramel bits that we tasted at the bottom, like all of like the dark parts right there. It's really good. I honestly think it's just from the top, like after you mix it, but it's cute. It's like a little hidden like sweetness. Like when you get like the boba in your cup. All right, so we tried it. We really like the pumpkin that it's not too overpowering and that it's like very refreshing. So a thumb and a half. <laughs> All right, we've made our way over to Frontierland at Rancho de Zocalo where they have their delicious iced hot chocolate. I've heard it's delicious, I've heard it's rich, and I cannot wait to try it. All right, let's get it a taste. It's good, it's like a melted milkshake. It's still like icy cold, and then they have like actual ice cubes in here. And the chocolate is good too. It tastes like, um, almost like champurado chocolate, but not exactly. So it's like, you know, just like a nice thick melted milkshake. I like it, it's yummy. It's like a refreshing dessert. It is like a champurado, but like a fudge chocolate ice cream. Mm-hmm. That's what it tastes like. Like I don't get, it. it's like more like a shake. Yeah, like melted ice cream, no? Mm -hmm. Six out of, six and a half. <laughs> Alrighty, so if you head over to the Galactic Grill in Tomorrowland, you can find the Ghost of Anaheim Burger. What makes it a ghostly burger is the pico de gallo, the salsas, and the green chilies that they add with it. It also does come with a side of fries, a cutie, or even a yogurt. Alright, so this burger is very moist, very saucy. I think I just have to take a bite already. Wow. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> oh, my lips are kind of burning. That is a spicy burger. Definitely keep that in mind. Very ghostly. I knew it was because of the salsa and the peppers. I just wasn't expecting that much spice here at Disneyland. I should have expected it. Normally in California Adventure, they have like all the spicy and like the extra tart stuff. But this one, this one's spicy. So if you have a high spice tolerance and you love spicy, I think this is definitely the burger for you. If not, probably don't get it. Or you can scrape off some of the, <laughs> the salsa, but it's still super delicious. Definitely give it a try. You guys, the burger is hot. I repeat, the burger is really hot. Maybe I ate it too fast, but I'm very sniffly now. Oh my goodness. Still super yummy, but my mouth is on fire right now. These fries are the only thing like saving me at the moment. So whatever said you get, hopefully it calms you down. <laughs>
visiting the Disneyland Resort during the Halloween season and you're looking for a bit of a side quest, this is Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit, a fun little scavenger hunt where you're looking for different things that will correspond with the matching characters. Each map is $10. They do come with these fun little stickers that you put on the clues. I will be only showing you these two as a quick start to your scavenger hunt, but the rest is up to you. You can redeem your prize before or after you're done with your scavenger hunt. I went ahead and just redeemed mine now, knowing myself. I probably would have forgotten it later, but it's cute. It has a little Pluto on there inside the cauldron, but there are different choices that you get to see here. I got mine with the Pluto cauldron, but there are different options. Some of them have Stitch, some of them have Goofy. It's all Halloween themed. Super cute little cups with straws. The future of the Haunted Mansion line. Now we are waiting in front of the Haunted Mansion because it is almost our virtual queue time. It is important to know because they have been under renovation for quite some time now that they're only gonna be doing virtual queue. It's supposed to go through the entire holiday season. So at seven o'clock in the morning and five o'clock in the afternoon is the times that you'll be able to join the virtual queue. You don't need a Genie Plus for this. It is completely free. You just have to make sure that you get it in time. It's better to do it earlier than later or like even right on the dock because People are already on their phones and they're waiting to get that spot in line. So it's almost our time. I'm so excited. Right now it's going to be Jack Skellington's like Halloween Town mix of Christmas and Halloween. I'm really excited. So stay tuned. Twas the nightmare before Christmas. to Tomorrowland at the Galactic Grill where they have the Darth by chocolate. It is a chocolate pudding with a chocolate mousse, red velvet cake, and then cookie crumbles all top. I think it's so cute. You have the little Darth Vader right there sticking out with his lightsaber. We know what happened to him if you're a Star Wars fan, but you know what? I bet it's still delicious. Uh, it's getting, oh my god, his lightsaber. Good. That's good? That's really good. Uh, I love sweets. And this actually hits the spot on the, on the scale of 1 to 10. It's 100. Mm. Alright, so I'm going to try to go as far down as I can. Let's see.
chowder is so good. Mm. I like it because each layer is like a different texture. The top is more of a mousse, so it's like nice soft and pillowy. And then you have the cakey red velvet. And then at the bottom, it's a pudding, so it's like, you know, kind of has like that chewy, or not chewy, but you know, gelatin likeness to it. It's really good when you put it all together. And then, of course, our little cookie rocks add a bit of texture to that as well. Oh, super good. All right, if you have visited Fantasyland, then you've probably had the cheesy bread, but have you had the cheesy bread with the brat? Everybody has been raging about this new snack item, and you can get it at Idlewise Snacks. Oh my goodness, it looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Okay, it is like the perfect amount of cheesy, but it's not even just like stringy cheesy. It's like gooey and gooey and the bread is nice and warm and it has that delicious crust. And then you have the brat here. I kind of bit it all weird, but it's, uh, it's like perfectly cooked. It's juicy and tender and it has that snap. Oh my God, I gotta eat more. Over to California Adventure. It is after 3 p.m. and you know what that means. It is Guardians of the Galaxy time, Monsters After Dark, probably one of my favorite layovers for the holiday season. Super scary, mind you, it can be a little scary for our younger guests here at Disneyland, but nevertheless, it's really fun to try. We are here at Mission Breakout, Monsters After Dark. It does get a little scarier after three because that's when the monsters like to come in play, so just be aware if you're bringing your little ones here. It might be a little scarier, but nevertheless, it's a lot of fun. Something more to try. Brand new mission. We just got to save our friend Groot, who is the cutest of them all. He's a little plant. If you don't know Guardians of the Galaxy, we just got to save him. Oh, what are you guys still doing here? Tour's over. The cages are open and the creatures are loose. Don't worry about them. Listen up. You guys can be a big help while I look for my pal. A gantry lift full of warm terrans makes a really great distraction. Remember, if you see a scary creature, scream real loud and look delicious. <laughs> Yes. I did too, but we are not. This is from the refreshment corner. It is the Philly potato dog. And we also have the embers con queso. It's pretty much hot Cheetos, cheese, jalapeno. This guy has cheese, green onion, the meat from like a Philly cheese steak. Ooh, that looks like beer cheese on there and a hot dog, all in a potato. Oh my God, this is loaded and so is my belly. Wish us luck right now. Oh my goodness, it smells good though. It smells really good. Alright, I feel like I gotta get a little bit of everything in here. If I can. Oh my goodness, this thing is loaded. 
Okay. She's struggling, guys. I have some meat, some veggies, a little bit of wheat in there. Got sauce. Oh my god. Ooh, ah! Cheese is falling Hold on. out. I gotta, I gotta get that back. Here it is. Oh, oh. Okay, before it falls. So the phone died in the middle of the flight. But we're back. So <laughs> here's the pie. Oh, this looks so yummy right here. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I really like the cheese sauce. It's like a beer cheese almost. It's like a little bit of the sauce here at the bottom, if you can see it. It's really, really good. It tastes like a Philly cheesesteak for sure. The potato's actually really good. The meat, mm, okay. And the hot dog, the bar twerk was bad after the cheese. The bra was better? Yes. Yeah. But the actual potato's good. Ooh, yummy potato. Mm -hmm. Here's some of the Cheeto with cheese. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Classic, so good. Can't go wrong with cheese and Cheetos. Have you never had hot Cheetos or cheese before? You are missing out. I don't know where you've been, but you need this. All right, next stop is California Adventures Smoke Jumpers Grill. This is the villainous burger, which honestly is making us a little scared because it sounds spicy. There's some chili peppers and a spicy aioli. Honestly, wouldn't have been so nervous if the ghost of Anaheim burger wasn't so spicy, so just wish us luck. Look at that cross section, double cheeseburger. Oh my goodness. Pepper jack cheese, spicy aioli. Oh, okay, let's dig in. Mm. No, 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 not too spicy like the other one, no. Okay, this is really, really yummy. So there is a little bit of a kick, but it's not like spicy. It's like, you know, just a little bit of, it's like a little, but it's really, really yummy. Definitely not as villainous as I thought it was gonna be. I would say the ghost of Anaheim is a lot scarier than this burger. This is spice. Still okay. Yeah, the ghost right? of Anaheim is a lot more. The ghost is scarier, I promise. Mm -hmm. corn dog from the red wagon it is just a regular corn dog with blueberry compote some powdered sugar oh my goodness it looks so good it kind of has the resemblance of like a funnel cake so I'm about halfway through the corn dog now which it's delicious. I love corn dogs if you know me or anybody. The Red Wagon is probably the best place to get a corn dog here in Disneyland. Um, the only thing I would say is so the combo kind of watery. It kind of tastes a little bit more on the artificial side, which I totally get it. It's a bunch of sugar. Um, but other than that, I think it's yummy. It feels more like a breakfast because it also has like the little bacon bits in there, which I didn't get until like the very end. It's like all of the white stuff because I think the bacon is covered in powdered sugar. Who doesn't like bacon though? <laughs> but I mean, other than that, it's pretty good. I like it. Ooh, a beautiful pairing at the Cozy Cone. We got a fire truck slush, which is just a strawberry slush. And then the peanut butter churro. Oh my goodness, look at those Reese's Pieces. Uh, let's dig in. She made me trade. You know what it tastes like to me? To all my little Hispanic people, the little watermelon paletas. You know what I'm talking about. This is what it tastes like. This is like heaven. Who doesn't like peanut butter and chocolate? Look at that. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Try it out, guys. It's not even too sweet. I like it. I think the Actually, peanut butter is a good combination. Balance. These two, right? Here. These two, right? Good combination. We did guys. good. All, and it's all in one cone at the cozy cone.
And then there was one, being me. My uncle had to leave, but no fear, I am still here. And there are a few more things that I wanna check out before leaving the resort tonight. So stick around, there's more to see. So I am currently at Plaza de la Familia over in California Adventure. It's by the pier. And if you saw my video from last year, you might recognize this wall. It's kind of like a wishing wall. So pretty much during the daytime, they offer like this arts and crafts area where you get to take one of these cute little pieces of paper and then you write about a loved one, kind of like an offering, just in remembrance of the people that you love most who are no longer with us. And it's all inspired by, of course, the beloved movie Coco. You guys, I didn't even write on one of the notes, but it's really tugging at the heartstrings right now because I remember what I wrote last year. Oh my gosh, so fun, but definitely go do it. It's just a sweet little moment. Not very Halloween-y, if some might say, but definitely worth doing. Before I head over to Disneyland side again, I just decided it would be nice if I went to the trolley treats and I got myself a little treat. This here is the pumpkin spice cupcake. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't even know there was a pumpkin spice cupcake. I thought it was just regular white vanilla until I asked. That's why you always ask, because then you are surprised with something awesome. I got this little guy, super duper cute. He's huge, big boy. It has a cute little sprinkles, little fall sprinkles. It's very minimalistic, very demure. Everybody's tired of the word, but I love it. Let's take a bite. All right, I almost dropped it as I was opening the wrapper, but it's fine because we saved it. But here we go. Okay, so it's a little dense of a cupcake, not as light as airy, but light. We'll, we'll taste it. Maybe it tastes different than it feels on the spoon. Guys, this is so fragrant, like pumpkin spice, like you just walked into a Starbucks Friday. I am in a Starbucks by the way, but it is so fragrant, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I can't believe I waited. I cannot believe I waited until tonight. I'm gonna have to go back in line and get another one. So delicious. Oh my god, you know what would be perfect? This with the Pumpkin spice iced tea from Two Town. Oh, great pairing. Oh, definitely try this. It's at Trolley Treats here in Disneyland, California, right at the entrance. You can't miss it. I was actually gonna save this. Like, I was going to take a bite because of how full I am. But it's too good to pass up. Oh my god. Do you see? The joy on my face, oh, so good. Wow. Hey guys, really quick, while I am here in Disney California Adventure, I did want to put out a few disclaimers. First one being, check which night is an Oogie Boogie night, because if you are trying to come to California Adventure, Oogie Boogie nights will affect the hours, being that the park will end up closing at 6 p.m. for that special ticketed event, which is not so fun. I totally understand, but Definitely get that park, park hopper, try to start at California Adventure, and then head over to Disneyland. That way you maximize your time, if that is gonna be one of the days that you're there. And one more thing, where's the parades? Disneyland loves parades. 
Unfortunately, during the Halloween season, parades are not the priority. However, you did see that we still have the Town Square March over in Disneyland, which is a whole lot of fun. Over in California Adventure, they don't have anything specific, unless you're going to an Oogie Boogie event. And then in that case, you will see a parade, but if you're just here during regular operating hours, there will not be any. However, you can still go see your fun characters in person around the resort. There are always a different places. You can always check out the Disneyland app for that. All right, I am back at Disneyland and I'm here on Main Street waiting for the beloved projections. So normally there are fireworks with projections, but because it is technically off season still, today we will be getting just projections. And don't forget, even if it's a night that they're supposed to have fireworks, fireworks still depend on the weather, whether it's too windy or it's raining. So just keep that in mind as well. But I'm really excited to see the projections this year. I remember seeing them last year. I loved them. Let's watch them again. Oh, the lights are getting dark. Let's do it. So I just walked out from the projections, which were super cute, and they're practically exactly the same as last year. So if you saw it last year, and you don't know if you should see it this year, I don't think you're missing anything. I definitely do believe it is a different experience with the fireworks. However, it's always so hard during the season because it's always windy and cold, or it's just not happening every night. So it's definitely harder to check out than during Christmas time or during summertime. So. If you can't see it with fireworks, I highly recommend. It really does change the vibe. And sometimes the projections make a little bit more sense because I feel like right now it's just kind of going from one thing to another. But yeah, it's still really cool. And I love the music. It's such a bop. My music taste isn't the greatest, so <laughs> maybe it's not that good, but I enjoy it very much. I'll just be bopping my head, having a good time, smiling, and I'll sing along too. So yeah, I truly enjoy the projections and the fireworks even better. All right, you guys, the day is done. The goals are ready for bed. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and click the like button down below. And if you like this content and you're ready for more, go ahead and click the subscribe button too. There's tons more hosts on this channel ready to show you what they like to do in their cities. Again, this is the Fuwami channel where we show you the best original content where you work, live, and play. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.